say, dear, is this where you're going to tell everybody about the almighty bugger's muddle that's affected January's on the track? Every month since September 2007, we have put out an episode of our monthly magazine program on the track, which gives up-to-date news on what the CFC have been doing and about cryptozoology around the world. Sadly, this month was the first time that it's not happened. Why? Because as I'm sitting here on the 9th of January, I'm on a day 18 of swine flu. Corinne is on day 15 and Graham is on something like day 22. It's one of the things that really irritates me about the modern world is when people with a cold say that they've come back with the flu because this is the real deal. This is influenza and this is absolutely horrible. Max came down just after the new year to try and help me film an acceptable edition of On The Track but we just weren't well enough. Thanks mate, it was worth the try and the bits you did will be in next month's episode. So I'm afraid this month you're going to have a very, very truncated, in fact, minuscule on the track to watch. Last year, our January episode was a look back of what had happened the previous year. This is what a lot of people do. But a couple of people complained that we'd spent too much time going back on what we had done, not about what we were going to do. So, instead of a proper edition of On The Track this month, here is our quick look back at the events of 2010. January was quite slow, big cat footprints in the snow, February it kept raining, Biggles did agility training, March we went to the USA, chased blue dogs across the lone tarp bay, April boys with a pistol zoo and filmed some cassowaries too, May we saved some walkies for being flattened by a contractor, June we went to the fish auction and bought eight new species of blood. July was spent doing up the pace, fixing roofs and shelves in a state of grace, Dave left school and he and I went on a road trip up to Stafford, August was the weird weekend, will this madness ever end? I asked Thomas to deliver the goods of Big Cat Hair and Huddersfield Wood. Orange Panda DNA, you know what I mean. Way Hay in September, Shrushed Cross complied. In October, Biggles died. The team went to India to hunt for the Yeti. Team members dropped like confetti. November is sponsored dog called Prude. December, we all called Swine. And that's all that I want to say about the year we've been through. I'm sorry that my voice is shot. My temperature is 102. Thank you. Here's the action replay. <laughs> Assuming that this horrible disease takes its course, things will get back to normal in the next few weeks. There will be a 2011 yearbook, there will be tickets on sale for the 2011 Weed Weekend, and there will be a 2011 CFC Council meeting. They'll all just be a little bit later than had originally been planned. And in a fortnight's time, we'll be back, Korea, me and the rest of the gang, we'll be back with a proper length edition of On The Tracks. So until then, I'll be seeing you.